in this video we will learn bundling and minification in asp.net mvc with example and how to optimize and improve performance of asp.net mvc website using bundling and minification let's start with understanding new feature in as mvc is bundling and minification this features help us to reduce overall load time of website just take example if you have three javascript file to load in one page it's like a, a three javascript file is that it, they had to use in a one page for render just like just take example you have a javascript file for one for date picker one for image and one for webcam so these three javascript file you are going to use but what will happen once the page will render then it will request three requests will be go to the server and take that particular file just like your uh, date picker and uh, your image and your webcam and if you have three more file for css so what will happen it will be be render six times three for javascript and three for css file let's see with the practical how we can solve this type of problem with bundling so bundling what actually it will do that your three file which is required for one page it will convert that three file into one file so it will take less time to load let's open that new project web asp not at mvc application in this one that will be bundling press ok select empty your mvc project click on ok now you can see that project is loading Now, first I will be going to add one controller that add controller I'm going to give that this one the empty controller. I'm going to write like a home. Now, I'm going to add view right click on index, add view. Click on add. Now, we will add it. now open that your script file uh, just take example you are going to use like a this script file and your minimum this this one and just take one more script file just like this one means like you are using that three script file for this particular index.html cshtml once that particular page we are going to call and this particular page will render in the browser means that three three script files should call means like a three times it will go to the server and it will re retrieve that particular history particular script file so three times so what actually bundling will do they it will convert this is three script file into one script file so let's see how we will do that one open the solution actually go to that app start and right click add one class so going to, going to give name that will be bundle config click on okay now here I'm going to create one method that is a public static void and register bundles. The parameter will be the bundle collection. bundle collection if you will not find then add with a new get package manager 
I browse this one system Microsoft dot ASP net dot web dot optimization just run the, install this one click on I accept now you can see here that is a successfully installed now close this one Try to add the reference system dot web dot optimization. I'm going to give that name that is a bundle. Now here I'm going to add that bundles dot add so to new script bundle. So I'm going to give the name some particular name just like a creation that will be the bundles then again like a test j query okay now here i'm going to include that all those particular files just go to the here this all file need to include copy from here which file you have to make into one so you have to add here this file and one more this file okay. and this file okay so this particular file this three file that mean.js motorize.js and that query.js it will convert into this particular file that test jquery so how we'll use in index that now i'm going to register globally first need to register in global so global.asx open that file now here it will be bundle config dot register bundle then bundle table dot bundles okay now it's registered globally now open that index dot html so i'm going to remove instead of this i'm going to write that script dot that script dot render it will come now you can write scripts dot render and same path what you have mentioned here this bundle copy dot test query that's all so now it will be convert this two file your uh, that three files like this three one jquery this one and bootstrap and motorize this three file it will convert into this particular file and here i am calling that one in that view that is a script dot render method in the script dot render method i am calling this one Now, if you will run the application, it will work the same as it is. Something is missing. that error is go to that copy this one that wave rename go to the wave config here maybe that means that this one is that error so it will be wave bundling and one more things once you are going to install that system dot wave dot optimization in that wave config there is a 
once you are going to open that view folder that view folder this view folder there is a one web config file so this one you have to register here that system dot web dot optimization now run the application Yes, yeah, working fine. Go to inspect that network. Just refresh again. Reload. Performance. But you can see here that all those files is loading that minimum.js, that ng validate dot and mod right and this all those file is loading here. Okay, one more thing need to be changed. Just open that Visual Studio and close this one. Open that bundle config. That bundle config. Here need to add bundle table dot enable optimization equal to true okay now run the application now go inspect that and go to network reload again now here you can see there is a one file that is a test jquery and it's giving that one more name that is a version so this version is very important this v is equal to one that version is very important if you have heard about that cache bursting that it's very important for the version version is very because what will happen just like say, you have uploaded or you have made that live your project with that some javascript and uh, so much clients is open that particular project means like a project means like your applications means that once uh, that client is opening javascript uh, that pure project so all those javascript or jquery is loaded to that client systems but in the future there is a, some issue came or you are going to extend in the java query your jquery so that times uh, only once uh, you change into on the live but once uh, trying to use that particular client if you didn't use that version then it will not restore that updated one it will use only that old one jquery so that uh, because of that reason they we, we should use that cache busting cache busting means that you have to use that with jquery with that your version number if first times you are using that particular jquery and you are going to deploy so that time jquery version should be one and next time if you are going to change in same jquery again that times you should make that jquery should be two so it means if version will change so that client system will check once they will try to open that page and first it will check that if his version is changed if his version is changed then uh, that client system will download your new J jquery if it version is same so it will not download so that is called cache busting but for the one bundling i hope it's a clear because bundling same likes you have to add with css also means like a same uh, if three css is using so same like you have to add that uh, script in the bundle so that particular css file will be create one file with that name this name we are I already showing you that one it's coming with the test this test query with that you can see here it's mentioned that version equal to one 
Okay. I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching.